Hotel Echo Lima Lima Oscar. Good afternoon. Live and direct from London, England, or should I say sunny London, England. This is your host, your guy himself, the one and only and truly. You see it there? DLG repping. I've made it to StreamYard. Wow. This is my first recording and I'm delighted. Um, for those of you that don't know who I am, now you know. <laughs> well, um, before I get started, um, <clears throat> make sure you help me by subscribing to my channel. Um, nah, anyway, that's the last thing I should say, literally. Um, yeah, support this channel by sharing it all over the world, yeah? Especially to your friends and your relatives. Share it virally, yeah? Smash the thumbs up like button for me, yeah, in abundance. Here's my thumb. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going that way. I should go this way. <laughs> Smash the thumbs up like button for me, yeah? Also, positive feedback belongs in my comment section below. So if you want to respond, if you've got a message, etc., leave it in the comment section below. Also, um, yeah, make sure you smash that subscribe button for me, yeah? Left, right, and center galore. Um, let's get me to 1,000 subscribers. This is the road to 1,000 subscribers, yeah? So I'm happy to do what I'm doing. And um, shout out to Northside LDN. You recommended me to go on this, man, and I'm good. But let's start off with a bit of headlines. Chelsea are allowed to sell tickets, yeah? I'm reading this from the BBC um, Interactive. And um, we're going to Thursday's um, gossip column. But so let's um, start off with um, Chelsea because now they're allowed to sell um, tickets again. And it says it here as the head title written in yellow. Chelsea allowed to sell tickets again. Let's delve into this one. Chelsea will be allowed to sell tickets to away games, cup matches and fixtures involving the women's team after the UK government made alteration to the club's special license. The club have been unable to sell tickets since owner Roman Abramovich was sanctioned by the government as part of its response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Yes, that um, comes into um, some sense. Anyway, reading on. Under the change license proceeds from ticket sales will go directly to the Premier League, and then be distributed to the relevant party. So, they're selling tickets again, but it don't change um, the bulk of the um, punishment that they have received. So, therefore, Chelsea will have to um, grin and bear it. Um, if there's any Chelsea supporters out there, leave... Um, a response or a message in my comment section below. I'm just um, reading from what I've um, got as an information. Anyway, let's go into the gossip column, shall we? And um, according to the Mirror, Tottenham striker Harry Kane refused to commit himself to Spurs after being asked about his future while on England duty. It will start up again. I think he's done. He's doing a year. And when he finished, come the end of the season, he will be on the move to Man City or the outside bet, Newcastle United. But for me, he will go where he wants to win trophies. He doesn't care about how much money he's got in his bank account. He is sorted. He's nice. It's all about what he can win from now to the end of his career. <clears throat> Let's be real. He's waited how long to get a winner's medal at Tottenham? He should he should never excuse me. He should never have started that Champions League final in um, the Metropolitano. It should have been Lucas Moura, but he will still would have had a winner's medal should the unbearable have happened. Thank goodness it didn't. Anyway, Harry Kane will be leaving Tottenham by the end of the season. You heard it live and direct from myself, DLG Repping. Yes, Dele London Guna, Space, Romeo, Echo, Papa, Papa, Indigo November. England midfielder Declan Rice would prefer to move to Chelsea rather than Manchester United if he were to leave West Ham United. 
who put a 150 million asking price on the 23 year old to fend off interest in him. It still wouldn't stop Man United or Chelsea. Oh, oh I've forgotten. Did I say Chelsea? <laughs> they ain't spending Jack S. It still may not stop Manchester United from spending the money. And if it means taking another um, risk of wasting big money on another talent, then that's entirely down to them. They thought it would work out with Harry Maguire. Look at how he panned out. <laughs> anyway, Newcastle United will be making a move for Paris Saint-Germain, Brazil's forward, Neymar. Well, I know Newcastle have got ambition, but Neymar is overhyped and are set to have a summer transfer budget of less than 90 million to spend in January. Okay. This is coming from the Telegraph subscription required. The Magpies plan to sell Paraguay midfielder Miguel Amaro in the summer and will allow the 28-year-old to leave for just 15 million football insider. Wow. There's um, a bit of room about my team. And that's Arsenal are looking at Benfica striker Darwin Nunes and have held background talks with the 22-year-old 22 22-year-old 22 Uruguayan international agent. <clears throat> now, we are the kings of being linked with him there, him over here. It just doesn't stop. Stop with the link linkage and start breaking and start putting us in the position where we can switch on to Sky Sports News and read breaking news Arsenal on the verge or players to sign this player. I'm sick of it, the links. I'm damn well sick of it. Roma are set to play... Oh, sorry, let me rephrase that again. Roma are set to place a 100 million price tag on Tammy Abraham with the England forward attracting Premier League interest during the prolific first season in Italy. Well, he's an Englishman and um, he's had a good season. He's had a good campaign with um, Roma under the guidance of Jose Mourinho. Is he worth 100 million? No, we in there. If you said 50 million, I might just understand. In my humble opinion, I reckon he's worth under 50 million. If there's any Roma or football fans who watch Italian football, let me know in the comment section how much is Tammy Abraham really worth. Declan Rice is going out for 150 million, according to West Ham. Right, let's read some more. Ah, oh, this one has come out publicly, and it states and it states here that France midfielder Paul Pogba, who's 29, who is available on a free transfer in the summer, Newcastle United and Aston Villa are also monitoring the situation. Well, there was a newspaper article at the back page saying that Pogba has said Manchester United are dead. No, let's, let's not laugh because this might not be so true. We don't know how true it is. But there's a lot of talk going on. I mean, Pogba hasn't publicly said this, but it ain't looking good when this is stated at the back of the newspapers. But what do I know? <clears throat> West Ham are monitoring Dutch defender Sven Botman, but will face competition from Newcastle United and AC Milan if they want to sign the 22-year-old from Lille. <laughs> Dutch defender, only 22 years of age. Right, um, I've not seen anything of him. But football fans, um, you may get back to me on my comment section and um, let me know how good this guy is and how great he may become. Right, let's read a couple of more. Oh, I'm going to read a couple of more here. According to IMC Sport via goal, France defender William Saliba, who is on loan at Marseille from Arsenal, says his future depends on the talks with the Gunners. The 20-year-old has a contract until 2024 with the London club. Now, it's a sad shame he's only played 45 minutes for Arsenal, and that's in pre-season against MK Dons away. I'm disgusted of the treatment he has had, the limited opportunities he has had for management. Yes, the man they scream, we've got Super Mikateta. 
Are you for real? He hasn't even proved himself yet. We're sitting fourth at the moment. And I say at the moment, he hasn't even proved himself. You know? And this man should have played Salaba alongside Gabriel Dos Santos Magalis this season. That should have been a defensive partnership. Taking nothing away from Ben White. He has been tremendous alongside Gabriel Dos Santos Magalis. I just don't know how this is going to pan out. I hope he stays and fight for his place. And I hope he can show me and many and millions of Arsenal fans that he is a fighter. Anyway, reading on. Barcelona did not intend to increase their offer to Uruguayan defender Ryan, well, sorry, Ronald Arojo with the 23-year-old's deal with them coming to an end in 2023. Looks like um, Barcelona will end up selling him and whoever gets this guy apparently and more than apparently will be lucky to have him. Right. I've read what I've needed to read and um, I'm going to wrap this up and say ladies to the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls, thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. As I always say, saving the best to last. Thank you for putting up with me. Yes, as you can see, got my buttons out because it's um, near to spring. So all I need to say is thank you for thank you to the live stream and thank you for Northside um, LDN for recommending me to go on this. A pleasure, bro. And we'll talk more on the, on the blower. So take care of your friends, take care of your family, take care of yourselves. Peace, love and bless again. Until next time. Myself and I only, DLG Repping, will chat again. Just please be nice.